Good morning. It is, I don't know what day it is. Thursday? So, that is a hiker's dream right there. Slept till 7, 10 in the morning. Put my glasses on, sorry. Got them cleaned up. Gonna go get some breakfast. <coughs> so, zero day events. You get to see what goes on. Hiker like explosion right there. I'll go through all that. But right now, let's go see what they got for breakfast. All right. Some fruit, we have breakfast sandwiches, yogurts, butter, blueberry and muffins, and some cereal and some juice. Of course, the microwave to do that because they're not cooking eggs and stuff. And the old <coughs> uh, oatmeal. So. Already had a bowl of cereal, a yogurt. You ever have another yogurt? I want to take that up to the room later. Probably get me a sandwich or two. And uh, eating my breakfast. All right. Happy Friday. Today's the 25th. Dirk and I are going to go to ATC and register because we're badass hikers. That's what we're doing. We are badass hikers. hikers. <laughs> stay out of our way. Yeah, stay out of our way. Give us some food. <laughs> please? Can, you have, can we have a ride, please? Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to walk anywhere. Oops, watch out there. Hang on, let this guy go by. All right. All right, before I get run over, I better put this phone up. Nice little garden area. Somebody made it on the corner. But uh, we're kind of at the top of the hill, and now we're walking, I guess, down into Old Town and find the ATC. So I'll pull that up, make sure we're going in the right direction. I think we are. But uh, some little... Old houses and some new houses both combined. But uh, very nice, good day. Show you some more when we find some more interesting stuff. All right. Appalachian Trail Conservancy Center. Surely to God they're open. Let's see. They might not like open till 10 or something stupid. I saw in the book it said nine. Yeah, well. Alright. Let's go across and see. Of course, you can see the hill we had to walk up. <laughs> no, it's open. Door's open. There it is. All right, let's go ahead. Pretty sure he must have been infected. Oh yeah, I, I was. I got it. I got it in January before I started. I got my second shot March sixth. Yeah. Yeah. So we are in the process of renovating. So we have uh, so we have some of our displays, but we took down the store for now. Yeah. In the back, there's a couple boxes on the table that hikers have left. Some stuff. Okay, yeah. great. We'll look through that. I'm going to get my stamp too before I leave. All right, so we just kind of walk around. Um, no, no. Okay. Um, I, I, because it's been busy, I ran out of replacement masks. All right. Um, so we're not requiring people to wear a mask. That's true. No, don't bother me. Yeah. 
cooker. So when did you Mark? Um, okay, Springer Mountain, Blood Mountain, Hills Gap, Trey, Man. Montana Dam, Great Smoky Mountains, um, Low Gap, Damascus, Atkins, Harrisburg, hated that hill, coming down. Priest, all the Shenandoahs, Ashby Gap, and Harper's Ferry. Now I have all that to go. So Harper's Ferry, go across Maryland, Pennsylvania. Yes. New Jersey, New York. Through Vermont. That's, that's the whites. It's Maine. And then Mount Katahdin. So if you pull it back. So, aerial view from there. It's still has such a keyhole, which gives it a sketchy. Well, this is a different angle we'll take five minutes. Oh, so no, this is a uh, big Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's the time. Big tall colonial buildings. Everything's on a hill here. So everything has steps going up to it. Some old buildings there. So we're going down the old town to look around. Just registered, so we got a new tag, and I'm gonna send that back along with a sticker. Some of these trees were old as the Revolutionary War, probably. I have a few buildings in disarray. This one's got a big fence around back, so they must be doing something to it. It's a pretty butterfly bush. Yeah, there's the house they're redoing there. Look at this old stone place here. Wow. That's cool looking. Cool. All right. 
Oh, look at that. That's cool. That's for sure. Look at that. Check out that woodwork. Look at the stone. I gotta get a stone work. Yeah. yeah. Big house. That's cool. So as you go down, all the houses are like this, up tight together, and they're always storied old fireman's barbecue. Hmm. So we're close down to the bottom. There's the train station you can go to over there. So you can go to uh, DC, the Rabbit Hall. There's the hotel that we we're gonna stay in. Decided it's too too tight. Mountain Inns, Mountain House, or whatever. Little stores and shops. basically the downtown area so it's not very big it's, I thought it would be a lot longer than this for the shops and stuff yeah that's where we we're gonna stay but it's too too cramped look at the dogs <laughs> what's up puppies What's up, puppies? Ah, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi, come here. Oh, yes. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh. Wonder who they belong to. Well, I'd be lucky they'd probably wait for a hand up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to look around some more. What hikers do, we go to the country cafe and get Joe's usual. Sausage and gravy, biscuits, home fries, and bacon and coffee. There he is. There's a smile. We were both. Said, he says, "All I'm looking at is the biscuits and gravy." That's the same thing here. Yeah. This is a sweet little place. Yeah. Anyway, we walked, got a ride from a trail angel, so that was cool. All right, time for some coffee. Uh, there you go, there you go. Get a little more coffee, getting low. Hang on, I got a phone call. All right, lunch is good. Now we do what hikers do. We hike back to our hotel or our lodging. Gonna go 7-Eleven. Walk down here and turn right. Down the hotel. Up in a little general store. Looks pretty cool. Coffees. Things like that. Wine selection. Some little soups. Candles. Nice. Good beer selection. Okay, we're back in the hotel, and this is uh, my cash from the 7-Eleven store, free supply. I have enough meals to get me four or five, four days left. So, for tonight, gotta buy one, get one free Coca-Cola. Uh, this is a little homemade pepperoni bread that I'll pack out tomorrow, and a 7-Eleven uh, Italian sub for $4.99. So I'll put them in the fridge, these in the fridge tonight, and pack them out to eat. Dinner tomorrow. I got two things of white cheddar, honey roasted peanuts, some almonds lightly salted, some wasabi almonds, 
Uh, I got a strawberry fruit squeeze like you do for the kiddos. Uh, apple sauce, I guess, squeeze, two of those. A pecan spin, which feels like a an apple fritter. Huh? You gonna bring her up? I'll bring her up, yeah. Sure? I can come down. Yep. Okay. Uh, Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. Uh, uh, then in the hiker box, I found in the breakfast essential, breakfast chocolate mix thing. These are rare because people usually eat all these. These are the Velveeta sandwich cookies. And then from the cat breakfast this morning, some raspberry squeeze jam that I'll take and put on peanut butter and tortillas and a muffin. So that's my haul for uh, about four days worth. Minus the Cokes. Those will be gone between tonight and tomorrow. I won't carry that stuff. And uh, then the rest of the food bag, which is tortillas, tuna, other stuff like that. Tort uh, and a few other snacks, but mainly it's the snacks. Uh, let's see. Here in the fridge, I got a breakfast sandwich, the rest of a Sprite from yesterday, and a water. So might go out to dinner i don't know they have the anvil we looked at it's close by has uh dollar cores lights for a buck up until six o'clock and then they have uh i think it's like 10 bucks for big caesar's caesar salad with you can add chicken to it for 10 bucks or something like that i don't know but kind of full had two breakfasts today and uh, a few snacks for lunch. It is now 12.52 and uh, that's about it for now. I'm gonna probably lay down in that bed after I put this stuff and take a nap till that we decide what we're gonna do for dinner. And then uh, I'll pack everything up and have it ready to go. So all I have to do is get up and get take a shower so I can feel fresh again and then take off hiking tomorrow on Saturday. All right. Again, this is the view from our window at Quality Inn. That's the mountain we came down from and crossed the river. The river's be between here and that mountain. So that's the Shenandoah River. Tomorrow we'll go over the Potomac and the bridge. So thank you, Quality Inn. Thank you for a restful night's sleep. Uh, it was well worth it. Dirk's gone down to get his wife, gonna bring her up and introduce her, and then they're gonna go off and do a few things. So, all right, take care. Something else about something else about the trail that you need to know is calories versus weight. So I'm pretty conscious about that. So the more calories you can have, and the less it weighs, the better off you are as far as just feeding your body. Um, take for instance. This uh, apple squeeze here. That is 60 calories for this whole little pouch. And this little pouch weighs 3.2 ounces. I don't know if that's liquid weight or, or weight, but it's pretty heavy. This cheddar cheese right here. This little piece, this little slice of cheddar cheese is 190 calories. So that's not too bad. Then you go over here to the muffin. One muffin, blueberry muffin, is 330 calories. The pecan spin kind of donut thing, 350 calories. Uh, the peanuts, how much is that? Uh, 280 calories. The wasabi, 260 calories. The other almonds, 260. The sandwich, 620 calories. That's with no other added ingredients. And I'll add, I'll add some uh, mayonnaise. Might even put peanut butter on that. So that's the difference in calories of things. These are are great, but this right here, this weighs as much as probably that, 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 and that. <laughs> so you get, you know, 1200 calories versus 60. 
So this is something that you think about logis log logistically for resupply. Even the tuna packets, the tuna packet will run anywhere between 90 and 120 calories for a packet of tuna. So you have to add other stuff to it, the tortilla shell, if you add cheese, if you add mayonnaise, uh, if you add the tuna and with ramen and you squeeze some peanut butter, you get pad thai, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, get like an Asian kind of kind of deal. So it all adds up. So the more calories you can combine in a least amount of weight is what you're looking for. All right, I gotta put this stuff up and take a nap. It's calling me. All right, night. Oh, another thing you do on your off is you make sure your pack's clean, wipe it down, get your stuff that's going on the outside laid together. This is what I'm gonna to wear tomorrow. All set, I've gone through my food bag, my cook kit and all my medicals, rain gear, clothes, sleeping pad, the yellow thing underneath that. And that's my fleece, my shoes and my socks, get it all laid out, trekking poles. So you put all that together, then you have your little passport and all my little hair stuff like that, money all laid together. And then of course, the last thing you do is you go to your charger and you charge everything up. So I've got my anchor, which is my battery charger for everything. It's down to two, so it'll take most of the night to charge up to four. Uh, my Fitbit, my um, Garmin watch, and then this yellow, this one is for the phone. So you make sure all that's charged. So. And then don't forget your socks and the windows that you had dry. So I'll be putting those on, putting those over there with my stuff to wear tomorrow. And then the fridge, of course, is the deli sandwich and all that stuff. So that'll go in my little day bag or at the very top of my pack where I can, if I sit down, I'll open it up and be able to grab it for lunch or dinner. All right, that's it. See this right here? Watch this. That's where my head's going to be. That curtain's going to be drawn. And the TV will be on in the background. Nine nights all. It is. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's, it's 1.18. Time for a power nap. Yes, I take power naps, Patty, on the trail. And I'll be taking them when I get home. <laughs> Love you all. Thanks again. Much better mood. Later.